Welcome back to BYU Sports Station. We are live in Studio B on a fantastic Monday. Well, Jay Hill's the defensive coordinator for spring ball with Cougars. A lot of work to do with the defense that struggled last year. I talked with Jay after spring ball on Friday as it finished about how spring ball went, what's Power 5 ready right now, and how aggressive they'll be in the transfer portal. Here's our conversation. All right, Jay, uh, spring ball has ended. Uh, how would you summarize uh, how it went? Well, I thought it was good. I thought the ha players handled the new scheme very well. Uh, I thought depth chart solidified itself a lot. We still got a long ways to go with certain groups in that aspect, but I thought the players did a good job of just trying to do things the way we were asking them to do it. And, and we have really smart kids that did a good job of trying to learn it. What are you most pleased with in that learning, given that it's spring ball and, and fall, certainly there'll be some other guys that are here and in the mix? Well, probably the linebacker group, just because it was a bunch of young freshmen that really hadn't played that much, um, that really stepped in and, and did a great job. And this defense is very complicated. I thought they did a good job of picking it up. Uh, same with the safeties. I thought those guys did a good job with the learning aspect of it. And then up front, you know, I thought Coach Puha and Coach Papinga did a great job with their guys. I think our techniques improved. And I think uh, some guys really stepped forward and proved that we can win with those guys in the Big 12. Were there some young guys that uh, showed you something this spring? Yeah, one that comes to mind, Ace Kafusi, I thought did a lot of great things. Um, young guys. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. It's probably unfair to single out any of them, but there's a lot of guys that showed that we can win with them. A lot of guys showed that we have a long ways to go with them still. So I think that's typical of spring ball, that things were solidified and we still have other areas where we got to continue to get better and have 25 practices in the fall to get that done. How much movement do you expect uh, in terms of certain guys choosing to go elsewhere or coming to BYU from the portal? Well, we think there's going to be movement for sure just because, you know, there's going to be a lot of players that – uh, maybe aren't getting quite as many reps as they wanted to and so and they're you know older more veteran players that need to move on and then there's going to be others that are going to want to join BYU and everything that we're trying to get rolling down here in Provo so I, I think that that's a typical thing that's going to occur for sure this spring where there needs to be some roster adjustments and it's going to happen on, on both ends. And to that end you're entering a power five conference certainly the standard is is higher what kind of maybe uncomfortable conversations you have to have with some players given that you want to have a certain kind of roster? Well, unfortunately, that's part of the job, and we none of us like it. The players don't like it. The coaches don't like it. But what we try to do is always be upfront, honest with the players, let them know exactly where they stand. And if they stick around here at BYU, here's what they're up against. And if they go elsewhere, then, you know, here's what they can expect. And the, the biggest thing we want is we want the players to know we love them, we respect them, um, but we want what's best for them, too. And if they can go somewhere else and play a little bit more, then maybe that's what's best. Or if they can stick around and, you know, stay the course, then great things could happen for them here. It's just it's an honest conversation that needs to happen. And on the other side of that, certainly being on the recruiting trail, what kind of interest are you seeing and sensing from uh, potential incoming transfers? Well, we're in on a lot of great players right now. Obviously, we can't mention who they are and stuff, but... I think the reception of the Big 12 is huge for us, and the players know moving into the Big 12 is big. Our fan base going into the Big 12, coupled with our fans and everything BYU can offer, I think has been huge. And we look forward to seeing how that really affects the signing classes coming in the next couple of years. What do you feel like is P5 ready about the defense right now? Oh, I think there's certain individuals that are. Um, P5 ready, there's probably you know, seven or eight of them right now that I like where they're at. Uh, we will get a couple guys back that have been great players for us in the past that will get back off of injury. I think those guys will help us be more P5 ready. Um, the scheme is P5 ready. We just got to do a good job of calling it and getting players in the right situations, but it is time tested and proven. So uh, that I like. Um, yeah, probably that. The coordinators P5 ready? No, uh, not ready. So I don't know that you ever are. About time you're a coordinator and you think you're ready, you're going to get, um, you're going to have a rude awakening. I don't care if you've done it for 15 years. About time you think you've arrived, that's when you get humbled. So we're always looking for ways to get better, myself included. Uh, we're always looking for other things to tweak and to, to add to the scheme that makes us better. But um, again, I'm excited to see how this defense does and 
and and how it is in the Big 12. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I think we all are. Uh, what do the next couple of weeks look like for you and the staff? So next week we're right out on the road recruiting. Um, that's a critical deal is to get in front of some of our top recruits right away. And then after that, we'll come back in for a couple days, make sure we wrap up spring ball, all the evaluations from spring with the players, the scheme, uh, things that we want to adjust in the scheme, kind of put spring ball to bed, and then we'll be right back out on the road recruiting for the following weeks after that. So uh, a lot of recruiting the next month and then wrapping up what we just did in spring ball. Last week was spring break. Uh, did you get a chance to relax a little bit? Yeah, I think my daughter Elena right posted the one during uh, the Christmas break or somewhere where I was working the whole time. <laughs> so bottom line, we take vacations, but it seems like I'm always doing something with football. But we find ways to get in the, you know, get get a little relaxation and time with the family. So. Is that the one at Disneyland where you were on the phone the whole time? Well, that's what that, the, she at least made it look like that. I don't think it was really that way, but um, yeah. So last week we went to Arizona, hung out in the sun for a couple of days. Awesome. Yeah. Are you still commuting from Ogden? I am. Isn't that, mis is that? <laughs> miserable? But <laughs> the worst part is you never know how long it's going to take. Some days it takes an hour and ten minutes to get here, and other days if you catch the snow or traffic or an accident on the freeway, it could take two or three hours. It's just it's brutal. The, just you never know how long it's going to take. So I have to leave in the morning, assuming I'm going to hit snow or traffic or something, and you know get here way early, so you miss that stuff. We need you on front runner, then you're just working the phone, right? <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could handle front runner though. <laughs> okay, Jay, we appreciate the time. Right, appreciate you guys.